on everybody welcome back to the tesla racing channel so today we got some new stuff for y'all just seen that tesla released some new software we're going to look get a little bit more power out of the car maybe like 40 horsepower something like that and we also got a new launch mode so if you watch my videos before i've complained heavily about the launch mode in the past because basically when you street race or when you're racing on a pro tree of the drag strip you just you just don't have enough time to do all the steps it took to do launch mode before so before you had to like put your foot firmly on the brake i mean all the way damn near the floor and then you had to pump the gas hopefully it enabled and then you pump the gas again and then it bows up and you're in launch mode and then you let back off and you take off so that took way too long it was just not doable not fun now if you've watched a lot of my videos you can probably tell that i've i've you know, the only time I ever use launch mode is basically I'm trying to set a record because... It just went black. Oh, that's normal. You can touch the screen. Okay. So, yeah, launch mode's pretty much it. Don't get me wrong, it's faster, but if it messes you up at the starting line, it ain't worth it at all. So, I've never used it street racing whatsoever, but this new cheetah mode they got going on, if it's as good as it sounds, we should be able to use this every single time we street race with the car. So... We're gonna get the draggy out and do a little uh, testing with it, see what the 60 foot times are, if they've improved from the 60 foot or if they've improved the back half, see what kind of quarter mile times it runs. Um, other than that, you know, we're gonna do a little test out here in the road real fast. I'm gonna get my girlfriend to line me up and she's gonna act like there's another car in the other lane. So just to kind of like imitate, you know, what we really do on the streets, you know, cause in the streets, you ain't got much time to react. You, when that guy lines you up and holds you, you better be ready. So uh, she's gonna pull me in last and that's about as bad as it can get with a Tesla. If you get pulled in last, you better be ready in about damn two seconds. Cause that's all you got. So uh, we're gonna back out here in the road real fast. See what happens. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's give this a try. So I kind of placed you guys on the side over there so hopefully y'all can uh, see my foot and see if it's like, you know, see the actions it takes because pretty much all you got to do now, foot on brake, foot on gas, it's ready, let off the brake, you're good. So that's how it should be, you know. So it took them long enough to do this, but, you know, I ain't complaining too much. At least we got it. So my girlfriend's going to bring the other car in first, and then she's going to bring me in, and we're going we're gonna to launch this thing, I guess. I think it's gonna work. It still takes. Like, it still takes. Like squatting like it's, it's supposed to let the nose dive like a cheetah. Like a cheetah like dies when it well, pounces. The back end's like. Oh, is like it still? Rocket. Okay. Like, you're, you're gonna do that or something? <laughs> yeah. It still might right. take a second. We're gonna try it. Yeah. Pull the other person in. It still takes too long. What do you mean? It's it's not like an instant like like look at this. Foot's all the way. Yep. It's now it starts. You know what I mean? It thinks well, about show it. That. I know. I mean I am, you know, it's recording, but put it up there and show it. Yeah. Put it up on the glass and show down here. No, I mean they can see pretty good over there. But I mean we're still gonna test. Still it. do like for the times. Okay, I'm not gonna keep doing this and look retarded and I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go blast it on the draggy. But I'm alone. Alright, everybody, so we're not too happy about how fast uh, launch control still gets enabled. I, I mean, this thing needs to not even think about it. It just needs to be like an instant reaction to go into launch mode. So we're gonna end up testing it right here. We got a little back road we're on right now. And uh, we're gonna see if this thing's any faster than a quarter mile. like we did a 10.53 in the quarter mile which is actually really fast I gotta I'm gonna go pull up the time slips from when we could, took this car to the track and see if we beat our track time because our fastest pass ever is a 10.41 in a Tesla but it was our gutted P100D so uh 160 60 foot eighth mile what's eighth mile so, uh, 668 that's cooking in the eighth mile at 103 mile an hour that's pretty damn good for the street racing stuff 660 
make another blast, let this thing cool down for a second and uh, see if we can get just a tiny bit better. If it matters at all, I got a passenger in the car right now, so you know, that's, a, that's just some additional weight we have, so we're moving. <laughs> Any weight, some weight. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's see if we can get just a little bit. If this thing would go 1040s in the road, that would be pretty sick. It definitely slowed up a little bit. It's hard to say. Oh, Draggy, quit talking. So uh, it looks like we lost a whole bunch of time in the 60 foot. So we did a 168 60 foot that time. That's a whole tenth almost from the previous one. So uh, at least we know this this thing's definitely making some good power. If they can just tweak this launch mode, if they can just tweak this launch mode a little bit, it will be damn perfect. But all right, everybody, we're back here real fast just to talk about the. Uh, you know, the real technical stuff, you know, the real exact eighth mile, quarter mile times we just did. So, you know, first pass, quarter mile, uh, 1053 at 126.8. So that's probably, I'll go back, we'll pull up our YouTube footage real fast, but I'm, that's like three mile an hour faster than anything we've ever been in the quarter mile, if I remember right. It could be wrong, but 1053 might actually be faster than we went at ZMAX drag strip, you know, when we first got the Raven. I think we did a 1053, 1054, something like that, but it could easily be our fastest pass. And it was on the street too, which means, you know, we might have had a little bit better 60 foot time at the track. 60 foot on that pass was 160. Definitely not our best, but with the Raven, it seems like they've slowed the 60 foot down to really give it a lot more after that. And that's just what I've noticed from like our P100D we have as well. So, uh, 160, 60 foot. Um, let's look at the eighth mile for that time. Eighth mile for that time, 668 at 103.2. So that's a really good eighth mile pass for this car. Uh, launch mode. So the launch mode, it takes a second for it to think about it. Like, you know, you fully press it, get on the gas, and then it, it takes about one or two seconds, and then launch mode enabled pops up, and it starts bowing up, you know. But uh, is from what I've read and seen, you've got about, you know, 14 seconds or so to be on launch mode, which is plenty, so... Getting pulled in second might not be the greatest thing, but you, if you can talk your way into getting pulled in first, or if you're the drag strip, you just got to be that guy ready on those bulbs. So if you pull in first, you can sit there as long as you need to, and you should be good to go on launch mode. Um, I'd still like it. You know, me personally, I'd love to have a button that said launch mode. You know, and that when you enable it, if, if you do any touching of the brake and the gas together, it starts bowing up, you know. That's, that's kind of what I'd like. But, you know, I don't want to be too picky. Um... So our other pass, we did a 10, our other pass was a 1073 at 124.9, so we lost about two mile an hour, it looks like, two tenths also, but we also did a 168 60 foot, so that's .08 slower than 60 foot, which was where all your power is in a Tesla right there, so uh, that kind of messed us up pretty bad. Um, let me see the eighth mile on that time, but uh, 684 eighth mile time for the 1070 pass. So that's a good, a good eighth mile time. Not bad, but 1060s is a big difference at that point. So uh, let's go pull up some YouTube videos on our first outing with the Raven at ZMAX. Let's see what it did. And everybody wondering, you know, we definitely are still trying to get a road shirt. It's kind of just a means of when do they come out. You know, they've talked about it for so long now. I've you know, there's no point of talking about it anymore, I feel like, until it comes out. And when it comes out, y'all, trust me, y'all be the first to see it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get the uh, Plaid Model S. Uh, Pops is really interested in it, so he might go after one of those. It's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to say. All right, I got my time pulled up from Z-Max Drag Strip. And this is back in, I'm trying to see when I posted this. It's a pretty old video, actually, like eight months ago. Yes, yeah, back eight months ago right now, so I hate to say it, you know, I love electric cars, the simplicity of them, there's nothing to really worry about and think about too much, but at the end of the day, when you first get your car, it's probably going to be faster than it ever is that very first month of driving it. If you start getting on it and beating on it a lot, 
it's just not like a gas powered car where you can go back to back to back and a year later you know as long as you know you have tore anything up you're still gonna be running the same times so but electric it's like your phone battery it just it just goes to crap over time so I don't think the cars as I don't think it'll do a 1054 anymore stock without this new update I don't think it would have done it anymore um, I've actually got I tried I actually got another street hit a few months ago before they released this update just to see what it would do when I first got my draggy we'll go look at that in a second but this is what we did when we very first got the car 1054 at 126.08 so almost one mile an hour short and 1053 to a 1054 it's pretty crazy right there and the 60 foot was 156 compared to a 160 um, so a little bit better 60 foot there eighth mile 669 we did a 668 so I mean that's dead on with um, what, what this thing did when we first got the car so this thing's supposed to have a little bit more power now um, it's just it's just one of those things where you know performance does sadly fall off of these cars I'm afraid of um, but let's go look at what we did a few months ago so different road um, what's that camera with the car did I got so many damn draggy passes all right, so this is from a few months ago, um, 687 eighth mile, and a 168 60 foot also. So we did do a 168 60 foot, and we did do a 680 when we did the 168 60 foot. So the 60 foot's kind of where you lose a lot of time in this car. So I did a 687, a 688, and a 690, all not great 60 foot times. I, none of them are a 160. It's looking like at all. So, uh, let's look at the quarter mile time on those, though. All right, quarter mile time's looking like a 10.79 for the better pass of those eighth miles. Um, and then I also did a 10.82 back to back to that. One was at 124.3 and one was at 123.2. So this, this update, <laughs> this updated, in my opinion, this update has brought the car back to it was when we first got it. You know, whether they added any more power or not, it's really hard to say. You know, we've heard things about Tesla decreasing your performance after so many te after so many launches. You know, I really don't know what goes on and that kind of stuff. But basically, they've brought this car back to what it first was when we got it. That's my opinion on it. You know, it's kind of like we lost power. Now, somehow, they're giving us more power to compensate what happened for the battery. And we're right back there. You know, cool. But uh, I like the new launch mode. I like everything else. You know, we're going to keep making passes in this thing. We're going to put the drag radials back on it. You know, the Mickey Thompson, if we ever go back out street racing with it little shootout something like that um, if anybody's interested in these t-shirts now this is a sweatshirt you know it's one of two so uh, we're not selling sweatshirts but we got t-shirts if anyone wants a t-shirt we got them on sale message me on Facebook at the Tesla racing channel YouTube just you know find me message me we'll get it all handled out I haven't set up a website or anything like that it's not that official but uh, if you want one let me know other otherwise you know see y'all next time man